Hey guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a beaded bow tie. So these are 8mm um, crystal beads, 8mm crystal beads, and I'm using a 0.7 fishing line to demonstrate. So I added this bow tie to this beaded bag, so you can check out the tutorial, it's up on my channel as well. So I started by picking up four of the crystal beads. And I just crossed with the fourth bead right there. So that's going to be our first bead. Now we are going to be doing increases, okay? Okay, to do a beaded increase is really simple. The fish line on my right, I'm going to pick up four beads. That's three, four. Then I'm going to drag it right down. Then I'm going to grab the very first bead I inserted into that line, okay? You see that very first bead of the four beads i am going to insert my fishing line moving from the left to the right just like you see me do i'm going to insert my fishing line into that hole from left to right and that is going to give me my first increase so this is the next row already i already have my increase okay to continue you're going to pick up two beads okay i know i picked up three beads there but just two beads is fine I picked up just two beads actually because my fish line is attached to two beads now so I'm going to cross now when I cross I have my next circle of four just like that and then I'm going to do my last circle of four like I said we are going to do an increase so this last four circle of four is going to be an increase so the fish line on my left I'm going to pick up three beads now and I'm going to cross with the third bead. Please just insert the number of beads that I um, say in the video. And this is what it's going to be looking like. So our first row just had one circle of four beads. So this is our second row. Now it has three circle of four beads, right? So we're going to repeat this increase again. So the fish line on my right, I'm going to pick up four beads. I'm going to pick up four beads with the fish line on my right. Bring it down and the very first bead i inserted right there i'm going to move from insert my that same fishing line from the left to the right into that bead and that is going to give my increase i hope you guys see that that is going to give my increase and immediately i'm going to pick up two beads as one two and i'm going to cross with the second bead so this is with me just working no the normal matting method as you can see so we are just basically building like a sort of triangle shape the triangle shape as you can see is extending from the sides so i'm going to work my normal matting method into the fishing line on my right i'm going to insert it into the following bead and the fishing line on my left i'm going to pick up two beads and i'm going to cross with the second bead just like that then I'm going to continue the pattern again. Please make sure you're putting your work so that it's nice and firm. So I'm going to insert my fishing line into the following bead again. Now with the fishing line on my left, I'm going to pick up two beads and I'm going to cross with the second bead. So as you can see, this is the edge of our row basically, but we need to do another increase to match the other end. So I'm going to pick up three beads, one, two, three with the fishing line on my right. And I'm going to cross with that fishing line, okay? So this is going to match the increase at the end and we're going to have a triangle looking shape right now which is what we want just like this and from here we're just going to work the normal matting method so no increases whatsoever so i'm going to start by picking up three beads with the fish line on my right cross with the third bead just like that and then i am going to work just normal rows, no increases whatsoever. So you're going to work a total of five normal rows, no increases. So just do um, regular matting. Okay, so I'm on my fifth normal row. As you can see, I did no increases. If you want to see an in-depth tutorial on how to do increases, because we're going to be doing decreases too, please make sure you check out my beginner in beats course. It is on my channel. It is free, downloadable, 
and you're going to understand that course on how to easily increase and decrease so i'm just completing the row i'm just completing the com completing the row right there so this is what it's looking like it's looking like an arrow of sorts so we are going to do a decrease and to do a decrease we need to move our fishing line to that second bead right there so i'm going to take the fishing line on my right to move it down i'm going to move it to the right the other fishing line too i'm going to move it down that's a fishing line on my left i'm going to move it down i'm going to move it into the bead that's on my right as well then that fishing line i'm going to move it upwards then i'm going to move it into the um second bead that we are trying to get in okay so that's what's going to look like then the other fishing line i'm going to move it to the right upwards and to the left and as you can see that is what you do to start your decrease okay so i've just inserted it and this is how your work is supposed to look like both your fishing lines are supposed to be coming out of the second bead so with the fishing line on my right i'm going to pick up three beads and i am going to cross with the third bead just like that that is our first decrease as you can see that's a slant we are having i'm going to insert my fishing line to the following bead pick up two beads cross with the second bead so we're doing the exact opposite of what we did at the beginning so i'm going to pick up insert my fishing line into the following bead again and on that same fishing line i'm going to pick up just two beads so that i can complete my decrease okay so this is what's looking like and we're going to do another decrease again so i'm just moving my fishing line until it gets to the middle bead remember a sharp decrease for a bow tie you always need to have an odd number okay so when i started i had just one circle of four then it moved up to three then five then now i'm decreasing from five to three to one so i'm moving my fishing line again to the middle bead so that the next um circle of four i'm the next circle of four i'm going to have i beg your pardon is going to be just one bead so on the fishing line i'm just going to pick up um one bead on the left one bead on the right and i'm just going to cross with that one bead so my fishing line was short i decided to just tie it off then i'm just simply going to attach again into that tip bead so i'm just going to insert my new line into the tip as you can see what it's looking like it's like a double side arrow so i'm going to insert my fishing line to that tip right there and i'm going to make another one row one row of um a ring of four so the fishing line on my right i'm going to insert one bead fish line on my left one bead i'm going to grab a third bead and i'm going to cross with that bead okay so this is going to be our middle bead take note so i'm going to repeat the same thing again fish line on my left one bead fish line on my right one bead again cross with the third bead and this particular circle of four that i've just done is going to help us to start our next arrow basically okay so we're going to repeat the exact same thing that we did on the other side so we started with an increase that is with the fishing line on my right i inserted four beads then went into the very first bead that i inserted into that line and i'm just going to go you could say from left to right from top to bottom and that is like a backward crossing and that creates a new row automatically i hope this is making sense I'm picking up two beads with that same fishing line and i'm going to cross with the second bead just like that and with the fishing line on my right i'm going to pick up um two beads and i'm going to cross again so you're just going to repeat the exact same thing that we did from the beginning and make sure that the tips are equal okay okay as you can see i'm done everything is looking the same each of the edges are the same and now you remember that middle bead that we created that separates the two um, arrows we are going to create it again but this time we are going to create it by joining the two sharp ends of our bow tie okay so i just picked up one bead then inserted into the tip bead on the other side picked up one bead again then i just tied it off because we are officially done with our bow tie okay i know it's done looking done but all you need to do is to match the middle those tip beads and right there you have your simple bow tie i'm just going to tuck in all my excess fishing line and but you're basically done so this is what it's looking like so what i'm going to do next 
is I'm simply going to close the bow tie in the middle. So I'm inserting my fish. I'm going to pick up one bead, insert my fishing line into one of those um, middle beads there. Then is pick up one bead again. Then insert one bead. I'm inserting one bead on the same fishing line. Then I'm simply going to cross with the other middle bead. So I want to join the bow tie just like this. So I've just joined it with a circle of four. I'm going to now move my fishing line downwards until it is crossed on the next at the bottom part of the middle bead right there. Just like that. And then I'm going to pick up one bead on the fishing line on my right. Move that fishing line into the middle bead again. Then I'm going to pick up one bead on my on that same fishing line. Then I'm simply going to end my work here. I'm just going to tie it. So a beaded back is joined. You could basically even leave it like this. It looks good. But in my case, I added this sort of rhinestone felt to it. So you can sew it to your bag. You could add a very large pearl. You can use a glue gun to attach it. That is up to you. Okay. So that is basically it. Um. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you in the tutorial of the beaded bag that I attached this bow tie to. You can make this bow tie for your hair. You could make it as a bracelet. That all depends on you. So this is it. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out all the other beaded tutorials on my channel. I have tutorials of trendy beaded bags. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.